Hey, welcome back everybody. You're listening to Ultimate Affiliate Marketing. I am your host. It's Paul Mott here. It's quite a late one and so I'm having to speak really, really quietly because I am in a hotel room right now. Um, so it's a long way of travelling and all sorts of good stuff going on but I'll probably talk about that in another podcast. But what I wanted to talk to you today was I wanted to let you know how a few lines of code can literally transport your affiliate marketing business and we're going to get into that right now so you ever notice like when you're on facebook or or google and you'll see like these sponsored ads or or ads pop up and it will be from sites that you recently visited and you'll think gosh am i being spied on Do, do people sort of like follow me around the internet well no these are called retargeting ads so what's happened is you've gone onto a web page or a website or, or clicked on an ad or watched a video or, or done something like that and the person who owned that has had some code imprinted on it that they can then track you as a visitor. And then what happens then is you can either use uh, Google or YouTube or, or Facebook to retarget those people that have been to those sites right and if you're running a business then if you're not using ads at all that is the one ad that you have to use retargeting ads are so powerful because there is so many different ways of using it and it is a way to re-engage with people that might have come to your site Um, and if you own your own product they might not have bought this time maybe you can get in front of them again to give them an incentive to buy the next time they click on it and then visit your site. Or maybe they just need some more information so you can then show them something else. It's just so powerful. And if you've never heard of retargeting ads at all, just all you got to do is like Google it and then you'll get a whole bunch of stuff there. But the, the little bits of code actually get slotted straight onto your site, into your the header of your website and most websites these days um some of them will have like a one click install for for these codes if we're talking about uh, facebook in particular we're talking about facebook pixel and it's one of the most powerful things you can have in your business even as an affiliate marketer where you might not be able to put your own code on a sales page if you're following along with what we teach and what we talk about with affiliate marketing and using what we call a bridge page and then you have a thank you page before sending them out to the actual sales page for the affiliate product you can install that facebook pixel so you can install it and then let facebook build an audience of those people which have actually seen your bridge page in the first place but then also couple of extra lines of code on the thank you page you can tell facebook these are the people which were interested enough to opt in does that make sense yeah so then when you're running more retargeting ads you can send it to people that haven't seen the thank you page yet so they've seen the first page but they didn't opt in so they're not a lead yet so you can send them more but we can go advanced and we can go a little bit further with that. So rather than just send them the same ad over and over and over again, create various different types of ads and send it back. That way, when people are scrolling through their news feeds um, on Facebook, for example, they're not just going to see the same ad hit up. Oh, you didn't get it this time. Try it next time. No, have like two or three different creatives, uh, different pictures, maybe a video maybe like three pictures and and one video where you can actually then spice it up a little bit. You can put rules in place as well. So that frequency, which means the amount of times the same person will see that ad can be capped because if they see it like two or three times and they haven't clicked through yet and they haven't become a lead yet, it's a good chance they're not going to. Okay, right. So that way you can really focus down on the people that are most interested which means the quality 
are much higher and it will vastly reduce the cost of your ads as well. Another key thing to do is you can actually then take the people or, or if you're creating another audience of the people which have become a lead and if that starts building up over time, you can tell like Facebook in this example, these are the people that have opted in. Please send me more people just like that. And that's called a lookalike audience. So if once you've got efficient and you're starting to run these retargeting ads, you can then go after more people and say to Facebook, I want more people just like those, just like those people which opted in originally, because they're the people, they're the type of people that I want to see my offer. So those are a couple of things that you should be running. First off, you have to be running um, a retargeting ad to any product or service that you're promoting online. It's just a given. Whether you are a local marketer, whether you're a local business, whether you're an affiliate marketer, whether you're a coach, consultant, course creator, any anything, e-com, anything, right? Anything that you are asking for money at some point, whether it's through your own product or an affiliate product, you have to run retargeting ads because it's one way that you can get people back to your offer. I mean, let's say, for example, an opt-in page only gets 40% opt-in. If you send 100 people there, that's 60 people which haven't seen your checkout page yet. Feed the fire back in. And of those people which do opt-in, they are they do become a lead, but they don't become a buyer. The average sales page these days gets around two to three percent sales. So if you get a hundred people there, there's like 97, 98 people which haven't bought. Go back and tap them up again. Go and say, hey, look, the offer's still here. Let's get it done. Here's how you do it. This is what you need to do. This is what I'm, you're going to achieve by it. This is why you should do it. And give them some incentives. So anyway, like I said, I had to be ultra quiet on this one because I'm in a hotel room. Don't know who's next door or anything like that. But I just wanted to put this out there because it's so important to make sure that you do reinvest some of your profits back into scaling your business up. And this, if you're 100% not sure about what you're doing with these things, then just make sure you do at least one type of ad and that is retargeting. Anyway, that's me out for tonight. I will catch up with you guys again tomorrow.